Hi everybody, welcome to an update video from Titanic Honor and Glory. This is the status update for November. This is kind of an impromptu on the fly status video because everybody on the team is traveling on their own for this month, so we're kind of throwing this together the best we can. So apologies for the mishmash of editing you are going to receive for this one. In our previous update videos, we've been discussing again and again how we are working on the interior spaces the corridors in the third class areas. Cabins upon cabins upon cabins upon cabins upon cabins upon cabins. It's still a long process and that's because we have such a small team. And the team is small because we're still on the fundraising search. We're still on the search for investors. And once we secure that, we'll have a larger team. But right now, we're doing the best we can to create all of Titanic's interiors. And that process still takes a while to complete. And this is the stuff that we have to get done here and now before we can get invested fully. We have to take the time that we have before we have the investors to fully flesh out the ship. Before the investor or somebody comes along with a whip and says, hurry up and finish this faster, don't put as much detail as possible. So this is our chance to really get Titanic done the way we want to. And that's why we're trying to get the ship finished with as much detail as you guys want and as, as much detail as we want. So when I do create a finished third class space, which is what I've still been working on because, yeah, there's a lot of third class space in the bow and the stern of the ship. Cabins upon cabins. It does get finished and sent to Kyle. And we're not showing that stuff off because we want to still have something of a product once this all comes to realization. I know it's kind of a double-edged sword, that we are working on this and we don't show it off so we don't create the hype and everything. But we have actually shown that space off before publicly and you can explore with in demo number three. It, a lot of it looks the same, but there's still a lot of surprises ahead, like I said. So stay tuned for it when it does come out and we are able to show it off further down the line. I really think there's gonna be a lot of surprises. While Matt and Kyle are working on the ship model and the third class spaces and, and getting that done for a couple of exciting things, in the near future, which we'll be able to announce when, when that comes to fruition, the business end and the programming are progressing as per usual. Since we've hit 100,000 subscribers on YouTube, Matt and I have decided we want to put special emphasis on growing the YouTube channel, essentially growing our audience with you guys. There are three key reasons as to why growing the YouTube channel is absolutely essential for us. For one, it gets us in the door with a lot of potential backers and publishers. When we say to them, yeah, we have 100,000 subscribers on YouTube for a page about our game, that always raises an eyebrow. They always look at this and they think, wow, that's pretty impressive. So it gets us in the door with them. The second reason is the ad revenue from these videos. It's a fantastic source of income for the project, which keeps us going with the research and modeling expenses, as well as some of the programming expenses. And it's essentially the same amount as what we get through contributions. So between the contributions, the ad revenue, the store, and licensing, we're able to keep this project going at a pretty efficient pace and with a lot of the relatively large business expenses being able to be covered from this fund without having to come out of our own pockets, which we're more than happy to do when necessary. And the third reason, of course, is because it's a fantastic way for us to stay involved with you guys and keep you guys involved with us. It's a great interaction between our general audience and our team. We're going to start exploring some other features that we can integrate here on YouTube. We'd like to do a monthly live stream, which is going to perhaps be a historical discussion with some guests coming on and, and discussing with us about various topics. And we also might be starting up another YouTube video series, hopefully on a regular basis, in addition to the weekly videos. But more to come on that. The historian involved in that is also very excited. Next week is supposed to be a Q&A video, but we're not going to do that. We're going to do something completely different because we've done a lot of questions and answers videos and they're kind of getting stale and people are getting upset at us because we're not answering the correct questions and answers or whatever the heck. But I still want to get a few questions from you guys. We're going to be meeting up with James Penka who is our lead voice actor and who is also a part of our team. Jim is going to be the voice actor for Owen Robert Morgan as well as the character of Robin in Demo 3 and you also saw him in the Historical Telegrams episode where he and his musicians team performed music from 1912 regarding the Titanic and other ships. We're going to be meeting up with him next week to go over a lot of 
different things. I can't actually say some of the stuff that we're going to be going over with him next week, Tom and I. Uh, that's secret, shh, secret stuff. But yes. So what we decided would be kind of cool is if you guys had any questions for him about anything related to him uh, and his involvement with the project or music from the time period or performances or voice acting in video games. If you have any general questions that could be directed towards Jim, we'd like to do a guest Q&A session with Jim. So leave those questions in the comments below and we'll take the best ones. The big thing happening this month here on YouTube that we want to talk to you guys about is what I'm calling Atlantic Week. You know how we have our Titanic Week around the sinking anniversary every year in April? Well, we have Atlantic Week coming up in this month of November. I mentioned we're doing a real-time sinking coming out this month as well as a documentary and it is about the sinking of the SS Atlantic in 1873 but I have so much footage and so many additional videos that I can essentially fill up almost a full week of additional videos so I want to throw them out there all at once November is not related to the sinking the sinking actually also happened in April during Atlantic week I'm going to try to have a daily video about the SS Atlantic, whether it's about the disaster or about the history of the ship or some of the people on board or the inquiries that followed, uh, as well as the real-time sinking and the main documentary which I've produced. In our store, we are going to be releasing a scale model in 1-1000 scale of the HMHS Britannic in both White Star Line and Hospital Livery because that sank in November. But in addition to this, we're doing a limited edition run of 20 models of the SS Atlantic. Now because it's small and because it has finer details and this one will actually have masts and an optional full sail rigging, it's going to be a little bit pricier and because it's a limited edition. We're also going to have a set of five postcards of the SS Atlantic available in our store and this is also a limited edition run and they are going to be featuring screenshots from the animations going into this documentary done by our team. Follow us on Facebook for more information about Atlantic Week as it comes out. Speaking of the models, speaking of the stores, we have a lot of orders that came in for the ship models, so if you haven't gotten yours yet, it's still on back order, but we're shipping them out at about 25 a week. So it's coming along, and um, you'll be getting that very soon. I know a lot of you ordered them for Christmas, so we really want to get that out to you guys in time for that. And Matt is going to be restocking the store with some prints as well. So don't forget to leave the comments below for any questions you have towards Jim. All right, as I said, this was an impromptu status update because we're all on the move this weekend. Sorry about that. But this wraps it up. I hope it was enough for you guys. And I'm going to end this video on this month's trivia question. We're going to answer it in the next status update as well as give you the next trivia question then since there's no Q&A this month. What is the name of the White Star Line steamship on which Captain Edward John Smith of the Titanic began his career with the company. You'll find the answer to that in the Atlantic documentary. It's not the Atlantic. You leave the answer in the comments below. Um, I have one more update for everybody. I got to meet Billy Zane. Look at this, isn't this pretty cool? If you don't know who Billy Zane is, I, I just don't think you should be watching this status update or videos whatsoever because he, he's, he's a national treasure.